What's up guys, it's Zach from Render Effects, and in this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to teleport in Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. What's up superheroes? Let's jump into this effect. Filmed on a tripod, your subject will need to perform two actions. One, your subject in location A teleporting away, and two, your subject teleporting in to location B. You will also need a clean plate. I would recommend leaving your camera rolling during the entirety of these actions so you avoid any accidental camera movements. Also, be sure that your camera is on manual focus and exposure. If you're filming on an iPhone, touch and hold the display to lock exposure and focus. Place the shot of the subject in location A in the timeline. We'll title this clip, Shot A. Trim the clip to end where you want the subject to teleport away. Now, place the clean plate after Shot A. As you can see, I've already titled this clip, Clean Plate. Set the duration of the clean plate to 10 frames by using the shortcut command, Control D, typing in 10, and pressing Enter. Next, add in the shot of the subject in location B after the clean plate. We'll title this clip, Shot B. Trim the clip to begin where you want the subject to teleport in. Now, on the last frame of Shot A, create a freeze frame by using the shortcut command, Option F. Title this freeze frame, Cut Out A. Set the duration of the clip to two frames. Now, move it on top of the clean plate in line with the beginning. Then, apply Draw Mask to Cut Out A and cut out the subject. No need to be too precise. Next, on the first frame of the cutout, add a keyframe to draw mask. Move forward to the second frame, and under Transforms, change the scale to 70%. Now, readjust the control points so that the mask still encompasses the subject's head and limbs. Next, add the directional blur effect to the cutout and increase the amount to 90. Before we finish up this effect, comment down below what you want to see from us next. Now, add an adjustment layer underneath the cutout, spanning four frames, starting one frame before the cutout and ending one frame after. Final Cut Pro does not have its own built-in adjustment layer unlike other editing softwares. But we have a free download linked in the description, add the radial blur effect to the adjustment layer and move the center of the blur to the midsection of the subject. Then, add a shape mask onto this effect, adjusting the position and scale so that it tightly surrounds the subject. Feather the shape mask out to your liking. Finally, using the transform tool, increase or decrease the X position to either 5 or negative 5 pixels, depending on the direction the subject is teleporting. Now, set a keyframe on transform on the first frame of the cutout, and on the second frame of the cutout, Move the cutout 5 pixels further in the same direction. Next, move on to the first frame of shot B. Create a freeze frame by using the shortcut command, option F. Set the duration of the clip to 2 frames. Move it on top of the clean plate, in line with the end. Repeat the same steps from cutout A, with the exception of the draw mask keyframes. This time, on the second frame of the cutout, add a keyframe to draw mask. Now, move back to the first frame, and under Transforms, change the scale to 70%. Then, readjust the control points so that the mask still encompasses the subject's head and limbs. Continue with the same steps from Cutout A, Directional Blur, the Adjustment Layer with Radial Blur, and repositioning the subject either left or right. Now, it's time to step up this effect with some dust composites. For all VFX composites and motion elements, here at Render Effects, we use Production Crate. First link in the description. Let's navigate to the VFX and Motion Elements page, and in the Dust and Smoke category, select Shockwaves. Find and download a dust burst to your liking. Drag your dust burst composite in line with the beginning of Cutout A, and reposition and scale it to your subject. You may need to apply the flipped effect so that the direction of the dust burst corresponds with the direction that your subject is traveling. You also may need to apply the Gaussian Blur effect depending on the sharpness of your shot. Now, lower the opacity to 15%. Again, drag the dust burst composite in line with the beginning of cutout B this time, and repeat the same steps. To really ground this scene and sell the effect, with an adjustment layer over top all of your clips, apply the handheld effect. This will create a more raw and authentic feeling, making this video seem candid. For the final and most important step, sound. 
As we emphasize in every video, sound is a make or break when it comes to VFX. Lucky for you, using your subscription to ProductionCrate.com, you have access to not only VFX and motion elements, but also an abundance of sound effects and music. Download and layer whoosh sounds and fabric and cloth sounds for the ultimate teleportation sound effect. And now you can enjoy your finished product. If you enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy our last tutorial on how to web sling like Spider-Man in Final Cut Pro. Also, follow us on Instagram, at RenderFX, and check out digitalhustlers.store for some awesome filmmaker clothing. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.